Hi everyone, I'm Jen Bonito, and I'm happy to be with you here today sharing this um, mini eye lesson. To create this quick eye sketch, I used a oil paper from Arches, and I used um, the Zorn palette, and then I added ultramarine blue. So I started off by mixing up some nice, rich uh, brownie, brownish red with uh, the cad red and black mixture, and then I wanted to get some red around the eyes and the corners of the eyes around the eyeball. I blocked in the shape of the eye. I left the iris blank and I wanted to get shadow in uh, around the lid and in the corners of the eye here with so I used pretty much straight up black for that with a little bit of the red. And now I'm trying to pull that up around the shape of the eye. Working in some of those shadows in the corners of the eyeball or in the corners of the eye there. I pulled a little bit of blue mixed with the brown and a little white to get that highlight on the upper lid there. Now I'm just mapping in the iris and trying to get the right shading in the in and around the eyeball and under the eye. I really like to use red around the eyes. I feel like it's uh, it expresses a lot of emotion. I'm trying to get that shadow from that upper lid down into the eye area. I'm using Gamsol pretty much straight onto the paper. May have had a little bit of brown on it. And I'm I want to get that pupil in there nice and nice and bold and bring that highlight up and around that inner corner of her iris. And bring the the darker values around the iris as well down to where it meets the um the lower lid. I want that shadow on the inner corner of her eye to be nice and dark. And then I'm adding back in some of that red because I lost it when I was trying to get the shadow. Now I'm just pulling brown mixed with some Gamasol up into her, up in and uh, around her upper lid and up into like her uh, eyebrow area. created some highlights on that lower lid trying to re trying to establish the highlights around the fleshy area of her uh, tear, duct, tear duct with a little white mixed with blue mixed with a little bit of that red and black
And I'm going to work the highlights in her iris. Trying to get that shadow back in her, under her lid. Trying to get the shadows around the corner of her eyeball. And that tear duct is giving me a little bit of trouble. I want the highlight on the lower lid. The pupil's pretty much straight black as is that upper lid. And the crease in her upper lid. Now is the red with a little bit, little bit of black. Not much to get that red in the inner corner of her eye and that lower lid. I wanted that highlight and that whole upper lid there to be more fleshy looking, so that's why I added all the red. I like the way that turned out. I want to get the, the whites of her eyes in there again. Adding some white to the Gamsol and gray mixture that's already there. Adding some more blue to her iris. I kind of lost it with everything else that I was doing. Trying to get that highlight back in the inner corner on that lower lid. I use a skewer for that, the tip of a skewer when I can't do it with a brush. Now I'm trying to integrate those two, the right under the lower lid and like the kind of the bag, for lack of a better word, under the lower lid. The skin area under right under that pink lower lid um, rounded area. I'm trying to integrate those or bring those two together 
by adding a lighter value to pull them together. They were two, two distinct uh, colors and values, so I needed to bring them together. I'm still going to be working on that. Trying to get those highlights and lowlights balanced again and with enough contrast. So I'm pulling in some grays to establish with a little bit of blue to establish the highlights in her upper lid. And I'm, again, I want to get those shadows in and around her iris. And I'm working those reds again in the inner corner of her eye and around the lower lid. I'm using some of the ochre mixed in with red and black and white to get that inner bump on the lower lid. And then I use that a little bit around her tear duct as well. That's pretty much the only place I use the ochre. Maybe a tiny bit in her brow highlight. Trying to get those highlights in her eyes without going too crazy. You know, it looks like she's got a big tear coming out of her eye, which was not intentional. I think that was supposed to be an eyelash. So I'll go over that. And I'm still trying to work out these highlights. I think I made them a little too high, so I'm going to try to take them down a little bit. I'm working that deep red into the corner, the outer corner of her eye. Oh, and here comes the big highlight. Oh, that was too much, so I'm just flipping my brush and scratching some of that out. I actually kind of like some of those highlights happening. I'm trying to pull some lashes around, just real subtle ones the light on the lashes more than the actual lashes, actually. Taking that highlight down a little bit with a little as a gray. Trying to get it back in that tear duct. And pulling that white of her eye up a bit more into her eye. Because it, I pretty much lost it. Okay, getting those whites in there. I keep loads of paper towels with me when I'm working with oils so I can just wipe my brush and keep on rolling. The tear duct gave me some trouble I was having a hard time working it so it looked natural.
Now I'm trying to get a little bit of shadow where those lashes would be. That was definitely overdone there. So I'm trying to pull those highlights back out again. That's what I love about oils. The push and pull of darks and lights. I'm still trying to um, get that lower lid line to be a little bit crisper and to, uh, but to not lose that roundness underneath her eye. I'm working the whites back in. Yeah, there you go. Flattening out a little bit of that volume under her eye. with a mid-tone. Here comes the skewer. The skewer is great for laying in and etching out teeny tiny details. So that you don't get the blending that you get with a brush. You can, um, you have to be a little bit strategic to place it on the skewer so that you can essentially scrape it into scrape it onto the surface of the paint if you want it to be full pigment without any blending. And now I'm trying to get the softness of the iris by doing a little bit of blending there. Um, trying to capture that lower Highlight on the bottom of the lid. So I'm struggling to get that white in there without it uh, being affected by the previous colors that I had in the iris. I'm getting close to the end here.
pushing that eye back with a little shadow there. Just really didn't want to lose that red. And now it's too red. So as you can see, there's so much obliteration and then clarification that kind of, that goes on throughout this process. At least the way, that's just the way that I tend to work. Um, it may be very frustrating for some of you artists watching this, and some of you may be able to relate. So it looks like I'm just um, finishing up with a little bit of blending of the waterline there um, near, you know, across the tear duct and, and adding in a few highlights right above that um, lower lid and nearing the end. Y'all are doing great staying with me so far.
I'm going to finish off with one more little highlight there right under the eye and I think that's going to do it for this eye demonstration. So good luck to you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the Facebook group.